Today, guys, we are chumming my dog for 24 hours with dead fish, chum, and a bunch of different baits. Now, usually we've been chumming my dock and we've been trying to catch giant fish, sharks, stingrays, but this time we're gonna put a slight twist on our chumming. We're gonna be setting out a giant fish trap for 24 hours, leaving it there the whole night and seeing if anything really cool swims inside the fish trap. Instead of trying to hook a giant shark, maybe we'll get one to swim right into that fish trap. Being that I live only a mile from the beach, a mile from the inlet, there's always tons of fish that move in and out of this water once they smell that beautiful, bloody chum. Now let's jump right into this video, let's start Come on the dock and then let's throw in our giant fish trap. All right, you guys, take a look at the size of this trap. I mean, this thing is a hefty size and I think it's gonna hold a lot of fish. It's got a lot of holes to allow the scent to go in and out of. I really don't think it's gonna take much now that we already have all of that bait over there. We're gonna go ahead and throw some dead fish inside here. We've had these fish in our freezer for a little bit, some goggle eyes there, and we're gonna put them inside the trap. We're gonna leave them whole because a lot of these fish are gonna come in here, peck at it, and just stay there and keep pecking and pecking and pecking. If it was a small piece, they'd grab it and run out. But we got the trap all baited up. We've never used this thing ever before, and I'm super stoked to see what we can catch with it, so. All right, uh, we're gonna put it underneath the dock. Listen, it's hot as hell out. The fish wanna stay in the shade. Perfect. Let her soak, baby. That thing's gonna be loaded. I know it. <laughs> Guys, we do not feel like touching uh, fish today with our hands because it stays on your hands for about three to five days. Three to five days. <clears throat> three to five business Boy. days. So I got it, real fish guy gloves. It doesn't matter what you do to get the scent off. You three can to five try lemon. Days. You can try lime. If, if it's a prefer preference for me, I'm going straight for the lemon, but it doesn't matter. You're still gonna get some. So I got real fish guy gloves. Pink. Fish guy Chris here. Pink glove edition. Don't hate on them. It's worth it. Totally worth it when you're dealing with chum all day long. Wanna be touching that with your bare hands? Hell no. Getting all up in your fingernails. Ugh. Wash your hands. Save some for later in there. Yeah, disgusting. Look at all that. Ground up fish. This all was whole fish that went inside of a blender and got blended all together. <laughs> that is literally disgusting. You could probably see eyes and bones and everything inside there. Horrific. It's a perfect good, it's a perfect first start. You always start with chum because it gets all the little fish here. All on my, it's on my caps. That's it. <laughs> all right, so now, now you toss them in That's here. it. We're talking deep, guys. Oh yeah, let that thing sit out Let's there. Let's go. All those little chunks are gonna fall down to the bottom, and it's all the little fish are gonna start coming. That's gonna bring the big fish. Hopefully, a four foot shark that we can put right into the saltwater pond. That'll be That's what we're hoping epic. for. Epic. First time ever using an, a whole bonita. We're gonna put it. We're gonna stuff it in this trap here. Look at that perfect little spot for him. This thing could catch something big because we're gonna use this entire bonita to chum this trap. So we're gonna throw this out right in the middle as the chumming goes on and at the end of the day, the very end of the day, we will pull this trap, see what's inside. Yeah! Guys, I have a really good idea. If this video can get, mm, let's say 10,000 likes, we will go with this boat right here and 10 times the amount of chum and go chum the open ocean, guys. We're gonna catch some big, ginormous sharks. All right, we just knocked the size off this beautiful bonita. The, literally the bloodiest fish inside the whole ocean is the bonita. These are the best universal bait to call anything. Literally everything in the ocean eats this because look at how disgusting it is. Enough of that guy, let's get him in. All right, that's the meat right there. This is obviously exactly what the fish want. Just a nice little piece of a succulent right there. Filet mignon to a fish going inside. All right, whole fish number two. We decided just to cut this guy directly in half. This way it'll be harder for those smaller fish to run off with it. Let's go ahead, top, toss it in. Head and tail, baby. Head and freaking tail. We're calling Big Betsy. I'm talking Loch Ness Monster. Now we sit here and wait, baby. We should call some fish. Don't even, la don't even comment down in the comments about my hair. I already know it's bad. I cannot touch it with these disgusting gloves, okay? Disgusting. Come on, guys, here we go. First fish of the day is gonna be an absolute dock pet here. These things are infested down there. The mangrove snapper, these things are literally covered here in South Florida. Anywhere there's structure, you have these mangrove snappers. So they're obviously gonna be first to the chum, but it's a good sign to see these guys here. That means the scent's going out, the chum's going down the canal, and these guys are making their way downtown. Pop that hook out, look at that. That's why they call them a snapper. Look at that. You don't wanna get your finger in there, I can guarantee you that. Alrighty, first fish of the day. Check. Now we gotta upgrade. Now, 
the fish really love Deans. Who doesn't love a good Dean? I'm just gonna toss them in, sprinkle them in like Salt Bay, you know? Just sprinkle these guys in whole, whole fish. The fish love the whole fish, baby. Now guys, we also got some squid. It's the first time we're chumming with squid. So we got two whole blocks of these guys. Very weird. I cannot believe these things are actually alive in the ocean. It just blows my mind. That's an alive creature. So that's interesting. But we got a bunch of these guys and the fish love squid. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw them all in just like the sardines. So we got squid, sardines, bonitas, chum, and much more that we're throwing into the water. So let's get these guys in. Now we're throwing these guys in and man, the fish love squid. If we see a big jack swim by, the first thing he's gonna go eat is that squid. They absolutely love it. Guys, I came out here to check on the chum after a couple hours. I see a giant cuda, probably three feet. He's big. Jack's trying to throw some bonita on him, but he's super smart. He sees the wire on the rod. These guys are super smart and they're very patient with what they eat. So we gotta be careful. We might have to try to catch him on the mono, but he might just come right off. But we know he is hungry. He's chasing the bait around like crazy. Guys, he spooked a little bit away, but that was the first big fish of the day. That was the first big boy of the day, and we've only been doing this for like an hour and a half. So that is high hopes. That is high hopes. Tons of chum in the water, tons of big fish already coming by. Big Barracuda, fish number one. He's still in this canal, so we're gonna keep trying to catch him. But as of right now, he's a little skeptical of what we're throwing at him. Now because there's so much chum in the water, the little fish absolutely love it. And almost instantly, there is hundreds of thousands of glass minnows around my dock. So we got the belly hoop down there. Let's see how many we can catch. They're so smart today, guys. Usually on any other day when we're not chumming, surprisingly when we're not chumming is the better time to class cl catch glass minnows. But while we're waiting for this uh, chum action to get around, to get some big fish here, I think we should feed some of our fish with these glass minnows I caught. Guys, Chris just put a beating, an absolute beat down on these glass minnows here. Super plentiful. Check out how many we got. We love throwing these inside the pond. They're actually super good to eat the algae and the fish absolutely love them. They love to feed on them. They got a school fish and it's a live feeding frenzy. So we're gonna load up on some more. As we wait here for Big Betsy, what is that? A oh, super rare jelly. Oh, soup, world's rarest jelly, hang on. All right, you know what? If nothing comes all day, we just freaking discovered a new species. Check out my net here. I'm standing on all the chum. It must be done. He's literally, he's leaving. Oh my God. <laughs> yes, yes. It's the world's rare, we just discovered a new species. What is that? It's a jellyfish, Brooke, but what kind of jelly is that? Guys, look at those tentacles. He's got blue, yellow, weird looking freaking guy right there. Check that thing out right there. That thing is super weird. Look at him swimming around. He would actually look really cool to have in a fish tank, but you need to have like some crazy setup to keep jellyfish alive because they have to constantly be moving, I'm pretty sure. But take a look at that thing. Definitely a crazy find. And knowing me, I'm going to stick my hand in here to get glass minnows and I'm going to get stung. So we're going to go ahead and scoop this guy back out and get it back in the water. Definitely a good find. Listen, I, I'm saying it here first. Never before seen jellyfish. We just discovered it. See ya, buddy. All right, here we go. This is gonna last all of probably six seconds. Boom! Smoked. Gone. Smoked. Oh. Oh. Such a beast. Smoked, dude. This is how you kill time while you wait for Big Betsy. You feed your Big Betsies. Look at this golden nugget inside of our pond. This is the type of fish we're waiting for to show up at the dock. Y'all, we're coming up on hour number three here. We're gonna go ahead and reload on the chum. As you guys can see, our bag is completely out of chum, so we got another box of it right here. We're gonna add it in. Don't wanna touch this. There we go, just like that. Perfect. Another box of chum going in. Perfect. Now, guys, this is the time of the day we've been waiting for the whole time. Before, it was an incoming tide, which if you look down the canal, it comes to an end. All that water and all that scent was traveling to the end of the canal. Now the tide's going out, which means it's carrying it all the way to the ocean, which is getting all this blood, all this scent, traveling all the way there, right into the freaking shark's nose, and he's gonna be on his way here shortly. All right, guys, it is now time to pull the fish trap. Still a bunch of chum in the water, but a lot of it has gotten eaten. So hopefully there's something cool inside the fish trap. Me and Jack have not peeked. We haven't even looked underneath the dock. The trap is still right underneath the dock. Like right where I'm standing is where the trap is. So I'm just gonna lean over, pull it up as fast as I can. Let's do it. Okay, there's a ton of fish in here, Jack. I'm gonna Coming. need your help from the bottom because this thing's gonna break. Coming. There is tons of fish oh in there. Oh my god. They're all in the corner. Oh they're all crap. right by. There's so many on the right there's side. There's freaking tons. I see something careful, careful, bright careful. gold in there, delicate. dude. This thing's delicate. Right, we're, we're gonna have to get these guys oh in a bucket. Oh my quick. god. All right, dude. leave them in the water. I'm gonna have to okay, get them. Okay, okay, hurry up. Oh shit. Almost just went in. Guys, there is a ton of Sergeant Majors, but there's like three fish in here that are neon yellow. Wait. Is that a baby barracuda? What? Right there. Where? Oh my there's god, a baby, a baby in barracuda in there. Oh my god, there's a baby cuda in the there's trap. Baby Chris, in the I need trap. you to get Is up there. Give me the net, give me the net, give me the net, give me the net. Oh my god, it's the cutest thing ever. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen oh. in my entire life. He's gonna get through the hole. No, he's leaving. 
He just oh, left. he left. He just left. He just left. He's underneath. He's he went underneath straight through. It. He went straight yeah, through. Yeah. All right, we gotta get these other sick fish out of here, dude. What do you want me That's to do? A fish. Get up there, Chris. Oh my God. Oh my God. There's so many. Up and in. Up and in. Where are we gonna put them? Oh there's so. Oh my God. There's a giant hogfish. There's a giant hogfish. Guys, this is an I'm insane haul. Yeah. Holy look at how many, cow. There's so many fish. Look at how many sergeant majors though. Like literally, this whole corner is so. Oh no, we got the yellow striped right there. I got this bucket here. We can put them in here. Look at that. You got your typical sergeant majors there. Plenty of these guys here in, in off the dock. I mean, these guys. You literally throw chum wherever you are. You throw bread. You throw anything. You're gonna get so many of these. Those are great for the pond. You know why? Because the eel loves to eat sergeant majors and the groupers love them as well. This is this type of damsel. That's right? like a black damsel. Kinda. Black damsel. Purple damsel. Whatever. Purple something like that that's a cool one i've caught in those here before many times of course the yellow striped grump but that fish is look at insane this. look at i've that. never seen one that big look at that right there that's a nuts fish too. that is a beautiful ras we're definitely keeping him that is such a sick ras they're definitely keeping him dude that is an extremely cool fish that is so awesome those the colors, colors on that crazy. look at the pink and then the lime green look at those teeth absolutely insane he's got some oh, yellow on him god too almighty. another ras oh my god it's like a banana ras dude that bro. thing is insane that thing is straight yellow a little pink on the tail that thing is green. crazy super sick what you can catch here in florida guys super you can literally cool. catch in anything it's insane it is epic. extremely cool fish we've not we have not caught a ras like that before actually ever. and then the star of the show dude holy you know what it is holy crap look this is at a that unit. That, that is a thing giant is hogfish, he's guys. He's got such big teeth. He's got though. really big teeth. But look at the teeth on him. So look he's crushing that. clams, crustaceans, crabs, crabs all day long with those big teeth. Extremely beautiful fish. We've caught in these purple and yellow hogfish a bunch recently, but never oh a giant God. one like that. Like that thing is big. That thing is sick. He is a candidate to go right in the saltwater pond. And he will probably do really well in there. He'll eat up all the scraps, eat some crabs and stuff. All right, so we're gonna get all these guys get in our here. buckets. And we're gonna put them all in the saltwater pond. It's been a while since we've done a giant fish stocking, and we're we need it. Boy, do we need it! Beauty. The hogfish is such a cool fish. That is such insanity, right Let's there. Let's get them in the pond, baby. Let's go. Not gonna lie, these are really good for the pond. But Potts loves these things. This is his favorite meal. Here we go, bro. Look at him. Oh my god, he needs a lid up. He's lit up like yellow and green. Come, Come on, on, dude. Oh! 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 He things. loves eating those sorts of mages, bro. It's so, so he, crazy. As you can tell, his colors get oh super God. vibrant. Like, it's insane. Come here, Potsy, Pots, Pots, Pots. Here we go. Guys, he's gonna suck this thing down. Ready? Oh, he got oh. scared of the GoPro. Pots, Pots. Oh! oh! That thing swam literally right into his mouth. Got it. Uh, hopefully, I got it on the GoPro, guys. That look at that. Look at, it, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. He's got it in his mouth. He's gonna try and turn around, get down head first, and then he's gonna crush it. All right, you want a yellow grunt? Oh! That <laughs> was sick. Right in front of the GoPro. That was crazy. That was super Look at cool. that. Okay, let's add some more of these Sergeant Majors. Let's go ahead and just get the school in here. All right, now before we put these fish in the pond, I had to actually get in this pond and take the center blocks down because we want to redo the rock structure. The eels were getting in underneath the sand and the whole rock structure was gonna collapse. So me and Jack are actually gonna get in here after we put these fish in and totally redo the entire rock structure. Well, let's get these fish in the saltwater pond. The next video, you guys are gonna see a brand new saltwater pond. It's gonna look much better. The time has come. We're gonna add this insane fish to the pond. I think it's gonna look really good. We have no I hope purple. he doesn't get eaten though. I hope he doesn't get eaten either, but I don't think he will. He seems like he's big enough yeah. to not get eaten. Potts is very occupied over there with the sergeant yeah. majors. He's so. got a bunch of sergeant majors in here. They ate, so he's gonna be swimming around a lot. So I think he will not get eaten. He'll be good. Check out that fish, guys. So cool. Dude. So dang cool. He's got a lot more purple than yellow. He's so beautiful. Here he goes. He's in. Then let's just hope oh, yeah, he does no, he's well. He's gonna be good. He's gonna be good. Yeah, he's pretty. He's pretty good. He's size. pretty beefy. Just he's think, beefy. The panther grouper did not get eaten, and he was just about probably the same size. So hopefully this guy does not get eaten. But he's really got to move towards the rocks. That's called dinner, son. Let's see. Let's measure him. Check that thing out. Mangrove snapper. They got to be ten inches to keep. Whether I wanted to put it in my stomach or whether I want to put it in my five thousand gallon saltwater pond, we're about to find out. If he's barely ten, I think we put him in the pond. Let's see what we got here. Oh, he's nine and a half. Nine and a half. Got to go back. Check out my hairstyle. And I got the <laughs> gloves because, guys, it's day two of chumming the dock. Yesterday, if you guys look in the water, everything is completely gone. So <laughs> send him back to the wild. Goodbye, buddy. Got all the chum, lots. all the chum completely got eaten overnight. Not one scrap is left. So we went to the store back again. We bought 10 more vanitas. And we're going to chum this thing like crazy. And it's towards the end of the day. So that's when the sharks really come. We know something came last night and ate everything. 
Guarantee you he'll be back for more. Guys, look at this thing we just caught. A little bit of a different type of snapper right there. That is the Schoolmaster snapper. Distinct stripes, yellow ass tail, and fins. Look how beautiful that thing is. There's so many different types of snappers. Mutton snapper, mango snapper, Schoolmaster snapper, land snapper, and they all look different. This one has got to be one of my favorite other than the mutton. Look at that yellow. Stunning. Yellowtail snapper. How could I forget those? Those are the best. Those are the best. Check that thing out. Too small to keep. He's going back home. Ow. Not as graceful as I thought, but those things got mean spines. They got mean spines, baby. Well, got, he got you twice. Guys, this fish trap has been soaking for literally about 19 hours, and we're about to pull this trap. I think it's going to be absolutely loaded. I'll pull it, guys. I'll do the honors. Got Chris on the job here. Cut vitamin C, baby. Look at that thing. Keeping him extra safe from that sun. Oh, my God. Holy crap. Freaking loaded. The bonita is it's literally... the most I've ever caught. Oh, oh my God. I got five or six. Oh my god! We got five or six of these guys. This thing's loaded! Oh Look at the size of that thing! Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five. We threw a whole entire bonita. We literally cut oh. it in half. You guys saw the whole thing. Now we're loaded with literally so many crabs. Oh. Oh, we got six. Can we One, eat two, those? Three, four, five, six. Dude, you can eat these guys and they're good. Look at the bonita. It's completely shredded. Oh my god, he stinks. Oh my god, he stinks. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. god. Oh my god. it smells like poo. Dude, those? I've never caught this many blue crabs. There's a total of six of them. I've only caught one or two at a time. Six big blue crabs. That is epic. We're putting those in the cooler. Guys, come take a look. Let me show you guys what I caught today. I went offshore. Look at this stud. 19 inch mutton snapper right there. Literally absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. I, you know, I was like kind of a little upset because I only caught one, which just like puts you in an awkward position for dinner. Now that we got six freaking crabs in mutton snapper, the whole county's coming. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Pretty epic fish trap on the chumming day. Remember, guys, we just restocked the cut the plastic shirt. You guys can go get them. They're up on the site now. They've been sold out for a really long time, so we got them restocked. Go check out the cut the plastic tees on fishguy.shop. And drop a like on this video if you think we should go shark fish offshore on the boat. I think that'd be a good one. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.